video to learn how to connect uh, Salesforce CRM, an external Salesforce CRM instance to uh, Data Cloud. So as you can see here in Data Cloud, you have a configuration Salesforce CRM and Salesforce CRM will be instantly connected uh, to, uh, to uh, sorry, to uh, the Salesforce instance that is related. Uh, but uh, you will have uh, the possibility to connect an external uh, Salesforce CRM instance um, that is part of another uh, platform, basically. Um, so I will just show you how to do that. And uh, let's jump into it together. So as you can see here, I have my, uh, my Sales Cloud that is part of this platform um, already connected, part of this Salesforce instance. But if I click New, I have the possibility to connect another org and also another sandbox. Um, so in order to do that, you need to make sure um, that your user in Data Cloud is um, an admin or a marketing admin. So if I go into uh, permission set, for example, um, in my Data Cloud instance, you will see uh, that I'm already uh, a marketing cloud admin. So uh, if I go to, sorry, the data cloud admin, uh, if I go to data cloud admin permission set and I check uh, manage assignment, I should be uh, part of it. So let me check. Yes, as you can see, I'm already part of it. Um, so that's great. So on the side, what I've done is I've configured um, like uh, a developer instance. Um, so that is, outside of Data Cloud, uh, it's another instance. So I will put it here. Um, so there is a few things that we want to do. Uh, the first one will be to create a permission set. So as you can see in the documentation that I have here, uh, like they recommend us uh, to create this new permission set. So we will create it together. I will just click new and then I will give it a name and that's it. So after it will be quite uh, straightforward, we will just click on system permission here and we will uh, configure all the different uh, permissions that are requested. So we will click edit here and then we will select the different uh, permission that are requested. Um, and after that, we will assign the user. So connect all to data cloud customize application, manage custom permission. Okay. View role and, and role hierarchy. Okay. And the last one, view setup and configuration. Okay. Then there is two other assigned permission set. Okay. And uh, manage profile and permission set. Okay. So once we have done that, we should be able to, uh, to save the permission set and to uh, attribute it to my user. I will save that. And then I will click uh, manage assignment and then add assignment and I will add it to myself. Okay, okay perfect. So now this is working the <coughs> other thing that we want to do is to uh, make sure we we go into domain management or my domain i think uh, so here we are still in the cl cloud instance uh, in the salesforce instance and here in redirection we want to make sure we are on don't redirect okay once we are on don't redirect, there is also uh, another thing that we want just to check. It will be, um, so the different IP address. Uh, and we want to make sure that the uh, IP address of that, uh, that are for Australia, because I'm based in Australia. So it will be, um, APNIC and ARIN for United States are listed in the net network access. 
And if not, wizards are interactive. <coughs> so as you can see here, there is none of them. We will still try the connection, but it can be something that we need to check um, in the future. Okay. So now I'm going back to Data Cloud, and I will click Data Cloud Setup. And then I will click Salesforce CRM. And then what I will do is I will click New Connection and Connect Another Org. OK, so as you can see, that's my developer org. Just need to put my password, and I should be able to log in. So now the system is uh, recording. So I have a validation, successfully connected your external Salesforce org. Great. Uh, now I should be able to go into data cloud. And if I create a new data stream, I will be able to access uh, Salesforce CRM. And what I want to check is, yes. So as you can see here, I can access my instance uh, Sky Solution Pty, which is the external org. So now, uh, now that you are, um, now that you know how to connect an ex ex an, sorry, an external org, it can be very uh, useful for you to uh, to, uh, to to use that if you have multiple org uh, that you want to connect to Data Cloud. This can be a very uh, interesting part of uh, setting up like external data uh, like. Sales Cloud or like Salesforce CRM org, and uh, and now you will be also able to inject some uh, external objects that are that belonging to this that belong to this uh, external Salesforce uh, instance. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please let me know, and see you in the next video. Thank you.